multiplying decimals uh, using lattice. Now you'll notice I have 487 times 56, but the actual problem is 4 and 87 hundredths times 5 and 6 tenths. So I'm just ignoring the decimals for now, and then I will revisit them in just a moment. So just like regular lattice, I'm going to go ahead and multiply. So I've got 35. I can make that look like a 3. There we go. 7 times 6 is 42. 6 times 8 is 48. 4 times 6 is 24. 8 times 5 is 40. 5 times 4 is 20. Alright. So now I'm going to get back the highlight. Get out the highlighter. I'm going to highlight what problems are up, what I'm adding. Okay, so you notice I'm going down my lines. So now I need to add down my triangles. 2 plus nothing is 2. 9 and 7, or 9 and 8 is 17, I'll carry my 1, 4, 4 and 4 is 12, carry the 1, 6, that's 6 plus 1 is 7, and I get 2, so I'm going to write my number down here, so 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, and I'm going to go back to the original problem, I'm going to highlight 1, 2, 3 place values to the right of the decimal point. So that means in my product, I need one, two, three place value, values to the right of the decimal point. So after I highlight those three numbers, up my decimal point. So my answer is 27 and 272 thousands. Now let's check to make sure I'm right. So my problem is 4 and 87 hundredths times 5 and 6 tenths. So I've got 4 times 5 and 5 times 6. Now why do I see these two problems here. Well, because 4 and 87 hundredths would be right about here. And 5 and 6 tenths would be right about here. If these were number lines, that where they would, that's where they would be. So my answer should be somewhere in between 20 and 30. And sure enough, I go back here, 27 and 272 thousandths is in fact in between 20 and 30. So I know my answer is right. Thank you, and that is lattice multiplication with decimals.